People who live in a Twin Cities area mobile home park are fighting to stay. Lowry Grove in St. Anthony was sold to a commercial development company, and the nearly 100 families that live there were told they must move within nine months. Residents there told me they won't go quietly. The signs spell out the message. We not stop. We uh, in my mind, it's not that. People who have called Lowry Grove home for a few years, some for a few decades, united to save their homes. They told us that the park is sold, that we have to move, and that they'll reimburse us for the move, only for the mobile home. Since that June announcement, residents have researched what they can do. A nonprofit tried to buy the property so people could stay, but Antonio Alvarez says the owner refused the offer. They don't care about the future for the community. We don't have other place. This is where, when we make decision to uh, live. We pay rent, we take responsibilities and they need respect the voices. She worries about the kids who would have to move schools and neighborhoods. I feel safe here. I feel like I, feel, I have a lot of friends here and we play together. And Alvarez says Lowry Grove is affordable. Moving isn't an option for her financially. How we can pay the other, the rest. And, and for children and we had pets. This is our day to celebrate our freedom. And I believe that people that live in low-income housing are taken advantage of a lot. When developers come in and they just wipe away, you know, 100 or 200 people at a time. Now, Continental Property Group told us it has a legally binding purchase agreement for Lowry Grove. The president of the company said the nonprofit didn't meet the statutory requirements to buy the property. Residents have filed a lawsuit to block the sale.